Hey guys, how's it going? So recently, I've unfortunately had to report lots of doom and gloom news with the ATF and the government and gun control, but this is actually a positive story, and this is one I am going to ask all of you to share with your friends, because this involves a good guy with a gun stopping a bad guy with a gun. And this actually happened the morning after Christmas on the 26th of December around 9.30 a.m. on the east side of Detroit. One of the most dangerous areas, quite frankly, in the world. And I'm going to leave a couple links to two different articles because there's two things that I want to talk about here. And I want you to talk about with your friends and let me know in the comments what you think about these two philosophies. The first one is a good guy with a gun. Is generally the only thing that's going to stop a bad guy with a gun and when seconds matter police are usually only minutes away you are your own first responder and police usually come to incidents as they did in this case to file a report of what actually happened it also involves different company policies where you may work or your friends may work where you may be in harm's way but they may have a policy against carrying a concealed firearm while at work so According to Channel 4 News, an armed robber was shot and killed when he targeted a tow truck driver who had a concealed pistol license, Detroit police said. The shooting happened around 9.30 a.m. Monday, December 26th on the 15400 block of Young Street on Detroit's east side. Officials said a man with a gun tried to rob a tow truck driver, but the driver was a CPL holder and also armed. A CPL is called a concealed pistol license in Michigan, and that's what's required to conceal a pistol, certainly in public. It said the tow truck driver shot the robber, and the robber died from his injuries, according to authorities. Police continue to investigate. So, again, a good guy that has a job, a crappy job, that shows all the snow in the pictures where his wrecker was. Now, from different um, news articles that I read, allegedly, the robber had ambushed the tow truck driver after he had called him to come buy a junk car from him. So, it was an ambush. It was a trap. And his intention, it appears, by me researching, was probably to just to rob him outright with a gun I'm glad that tow truck driver is alive he may not be alive if he wasn't armed and he wasn't carrying his firearm now there's another article from WXYZ and this is where there's a little bit of thought and it's making me sit here and think about this and I know a lot of you think about this and again I want a discussion in the comments to see what you all think and maybe some of you are in this circumstance and it talks about I'll leave a link to this from WXYZ. They have a person that they're interviewing talking about how, look, a lot of companies are going to have policies that state you cannot conceal carry, even if you're a lawful permit holder or otherwise, because of insurance liability companies. And in many cases, don't want to insure a company if anybody's armed. Insurance companies often are anti-gun, it appears, right, for many different reasons. And what would a policy do to protect you? Obviously nothing if you're out there to pick up a junk car as a tow truck driver the day after Christmas and the armed robber ambushes you with a gun. Again, you have seconds. The police can't get there in time to save you. Obviously a policy from your employer isn't going to save you and how people have to make tough choices knowing that you're responsible for your own self-defense. You're your own first responder. You're responsible to protect yourself, loved ones that may be with you. And various different circumstances could arise immediately where you have just literally seconds to think and react. Or it could have been the tow truck driver that was hauled away to the hospital with fatal wounds. So I encourage you to read this article. I don't want this video to go terribly long. But look, there's been reports just recently that the United States government is now trying to thwart or subvert the reportings of lawful self-defense uses with firearms. They love to report on there was this many shootings, these um, incidents that happened at schools, things like that that they use to try to ban guns, and they have successfully done that many times, actually, from emotional pleas, but they don't like to talk about this. The tow truck driver out there on Christmas picking up a junk car 
and gets ambushed, has seconds to react, presumably, saves his own life, ends up fatally shooting the bad guy. And they don't want people to know about that. So I want you to share this story, share this video with as many people as possible just to remind people the responsibility that you have for your own protection. Also, that we need to remember that many times, multitudes more shootings are done in self-defense. Good people stopping bad people from taking good lives than people just out senselessly killing, which is the only thing that they want to report on and we know bad people don't need guns to do bad things more people are killed with hands and feet each year according to the fbi than with what they would deem as assault rifles right but you don't want to bring a knife to a gunfight and bad guys do have guns criminals do have guns because by sheer definition a criminal is somebody who doesn't follow laws and the guy that robbed armed robbed the um tow truck driver certainly probably wasn't worried about the new 4473 for him was he i would bet he wasn't worried about that and i bet you the robber wasn't worried about the new definition of a frame and receiver he probably wasn't worried about pistol braces and at the end of the day he was going to use that firearm to hold up and possibly kill the tow truck driver but the tow truck driver drew his gun drew it first as the saying goes took out the bad guy and he gets to live now and still see his family and friends which i'm sure he enjoys the robber has not been identified yet the tow truck driver has not been identified but the article talks about the tow truck company and it says as of right now and this is good there's no indict indication there's no indication that the tow truck driver will face any charges at this time detroit police say they will handle they will hand the investigation over to the wayne county prosecutor's office for review where a final decision will be made so all indications are showing as of right now as it's been reported that this was a lawful shoot this was a justifiable homicide in self-defense and again it's a story of a good guy with a gun stopping a bad guy with a gun and it brings up the interesting concept of do you carry at work when there's a policy against it i'd be curious to see if any of you work in places that may or may not have these policies and what your personal experiences are with this and not legal advice none of us are lawyers obviously but what your advice or thoughts might be on this topic of carrying while you're at work and everywhere you go throughout your daily travels all right guys i thought this was just a bit of good news and hopefully that offers some inspiration and motivation to you all to be ready to be armed and be your own first response responder because there's danger all around and criminals don't follow laws. Just remember that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and have a good one.